So another week has come and gone already. So going from uh, the 10th to today, the 16th, uh, admittedly, it's only 20 past three on Sunday. So there's still plenty of time to go. I've only sold £272 and £35, 35 pences worth of stuff, which is really bad, um, but it's constant. I, I've, I don't want to say it out loud, but I've not had a no sales day for quite a while. Touch wood, where is it? Touch wood, uh, long may that continue. So it's little, often constant, it's fine. And we're up on our sales from last year, which is good because we are taking it slightly more seriously now. But yeah, 270 odd pounds and I haven't slowed down on the buying. Although I didn't pick up much midweek this week. But yeah, I'll stop waffling now and uh, we will go and see a few of the items that I sold. So three cards for £2.79 plus £3 postage. Really common. Uh, these are ones with the, this is the first print. So you can tell that by the blue logo. Yeah, £2.79 plus £3 postage. And that's like this section here. Very, very common. Easy to get a hold of in relative terms in comparison to some of the other stuff that I've got, which is mainly from that end all the way up to here is the fairly uncommon stuff. Abawaki. Or as it should be called, Jabberwocky, 199, including postage. I can't believe I called it Abberwocky like 15 times in that video. See, this is what happens when you moan about the sunshine in England. It lasts for two days and then it turns into this. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, 499, including delivery. This was a pickup from the big bag of Blu-rays and PS4 games that I got last week where everything cost me essentially 33 pence each so yeah not bad going at all xbox 360's forza motorsport 3 399 including delivery i'll be honest with you i don't know how much this actually cost me but yeah nice easy standard feedback fodder might and magic clash of heroes on the nintendo ds 1499 including delivery again I've got no idea how much this cost me because I think I've been selling it for quite a while. So yeah, to be fair, I tend to just sort of overprice most of my games and then just wait for the market just to catch up. So it probably only owes me a couple of quid. We have sold the flask, which came in, I think, a Woot box. I got £8 plus £4.10 postage for it. Um, yeah, part of a £30 box. So that's most of my money, not most. That's a good chunk of my money back on that one box alone. So we got £76.20 for four very beaten up Wizards of the Coast empty theme decks, as well as a Shining ho -Oh brand new and sealed. A, is that Japanese? or I can't remember. A Shining Celebi and a Shining Lugia. £76.20 for a lot. Not bad at all, uh, as you can see mint fresh so more than likely someone is going to be psa grading those bioshock 399 including free delivery nice bit of feedback fodder conflict denied ops 299 including free postage again more feedback fodder on the xbox 360 we have formula one 2010 for two pounds 49 including free delivery once again feedback fodder actually hadn't got around to putting this into storage yet godzilla cost me 33 pence sold for 3.99 including a free delivery so yeah that bundle is slowly but surely getting smaller we have a suicide squad belt three pounds 49 including free delivery uh loot clay loot clay loot crate exclusive probably cost me about two or three pounds yeah um it's a shame because i thought these would be quite good sellers but apparently not so i forgot about this <laughs> at least two weeks now in a trot i bought this from a subscriber uh, it goes by the name of sam warren he's not yet got anything that he would like to have linked but as soon as you do mate just give me a shout and i'll quite happily link it uh, but he came across some um, uh, pokemon cards and he let me have first refusal which is very very nice of him very well packaged which is nice to see and we have a misty's gold duck from Gym Challenge, I think. Yeah, Gym Challenge. Surface scratches, but these cards are becoming so hard to get hold of now. 
and we also have an Articuno from the fossil set again not mint condition but ah definitely just dropped it but it's fine it's in a it's in a good top loader so it's well packaged so yeah massive thank you i owe you one so we did go to the beach say hello isabella there might be a few hundred people watching good girl so it's saturday afternoon and we went to the beach as you may have just seen and i purposely formatted um the ps3 overnight and while we were away today i formatted another one um so just let you guys know if you was to go and look at going to the beach over in west wittering uh, they have social distance beach basically so there is a limit to the amount of parking that they allow throughout the day they don't have any off street or on street parking for anything in the nearby town so it's, it's really really good the only downside is the toilets and um, trying to do that social distancing is a little bit of a pain in the backside um, but if you can go there on a day where it wasn't quite like what it was today it's well worth it um, nice to get out of the house and to socially distance with uh, with the babies which is good so yeah west wittering if you are interested <sighs> good morning well good evening for you guys actually yeah it's still morning for me it's sunday morning and i'm going through i've got to do the midweek haul time which i'm going to do now i've got to record like everything else i'm doing the front room because it's just goddamn easier so midweek was fairly below average these are the last items i bought uh i paid uh seven pound fifty for these uh nice red leather uh by saxon balmoral so i presume they're going to be made in england very decent red leather shoes uh stitching's quite quite nice throughout it's uh, not my size size six unfortunately um i want for really odd colored shoes i do like a red leather shoe uh possibly my favorite pickup of the week and these are actually my first pickups of the week we have a pair of alexander mcqueen trainers i paid four pounds now the the going rate if they're in really good condition you're looking at around the 200 pound mark um but as you can see there's a fair bit of wear on them so i am going to try and clean them up as best i can but for four pounds i think there's going to be an easy easy hundred the black leather like parts of the trainer are fine it's just the bloody white bits and there's a fair bit of wear on the back where it does say alexander mcqueen as well so yeah that was four pounds we have a nice semi-retro pickup and it is there we go it is jurassic the lost jurassic park the lost world uh paid a pound and uh yeah it's from 1994 and yeah it's um i hope it's complete because they keep on putting tape on everything so fingers crossed yeah it is complete and then the last item for pickups is uh, a uh, is what is it? It's an SB um, Smiths. Oh, I don't know. It's one of these things. It's a I can't remember what it's called. Weather dial, maybe. Yeah, I paid a fiver. Um, I, this was my second to last pickup of the week, and I was really struggling. And I thought, you know, I've got to buy something. I have to buy something. I'm having, I'm doing nothing this week, like pickups wise. So yeah, it's fairly nice condition. I mean, the, the back's a little bit worn in areas. Apart from that, it's not that bad. I've got loads of sales to catch up on. Um, someone turned the tap on eBay and it just went mad overnight. And, oh, my painkillers are starting to wear off on my wrist. So yeah, it's, um, I've got a lot of packing to do, but the the wife and Little Un have gone out um, to go and see someone. So I should be able to do a load of packing, a load of labelling. And yeah, a lot of the stuff I haven't even done pickups for yet. So yeah, fingers crossed it will all run smoothly. And there we go. That is absolutely everything from this week. So just a forewarning, the, the Sunday car boot haul there, it was terrible. Um, although it's worth a watch because there are some cracking PS1 games. There really, really is. Uh, and I've just gone through and, and resorted out all mine and put them into alphabetical order. 
And I've got a nice stack of about 15, 20 games of spares. So they will be going on eBay very, very shortly. But yeah, that's it from me as always. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.